Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good, having fun, staying safe. So today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be talking about Bath and Body Works Mist. But what is unusual about this video is the fact that we are going to be talking about the most long-lasting body mist from that of BBW. Longevity and the BBW mist, they usually do not go hand in hand. So this is the reason why it took me a lot to finally be selecting and choosing all of these. All of them do have a good lasting over the other trashy variants of the Bath and Body Works which usually do not really last for like more than an hour. So let's just get going with this list. So first up that I have, and I'm going to be showing this the first because this is my favorite, Bath & Body Works Into the Night. So I really did not expect to love it so much. I sniffed it in the store and I did not really like it, probably because there were a lot of smells and fragrances going on around. So I just did not, could not really get the whole idea of this fragrance but then i just read a lot of reviews i just heard a lot of youtube videos explaining that this is very sexy this is very long lasting and stuff like that so i was like i had to get it and by far this is the best purchase that i have got from bath and body works like in all contexts so the packaging is really really beautiful like this is the prettiest packaging of all the body mists that i have in general so that's that and apart from that by now if you don't know i really love black color so maybe that's the reason why but it's really beautiful it's sparkly grit glittery at the same time has the black effect and everything let me just read you the notes first so it says raspberry noir velvety rose petal and creamy patchouli so don't go by the notes but actually it smells really sexy when you just sniff it you get that raspberry but it's a jammy raspberry, right? And apart from that, it's like, I don't know, there is something, some sort of, some things going on into this fragrance, which makes it really kind of a little bit bold, but yet it's a body mist. So of course it's not so overpowering. So you can just easily carry it on. And this is a sexy fragrance, but of course, as I told you in my last video, I really do not enjoy a lot of sexy fragrances on myself, but this one is an exception. I really don't know what it is about this particular fragrance but whenever I wear it I feel so good I feel so confident I feel so happy and I feel like you know whenever I'm going out or maybe in the night and irrespective of the fact that it says into the night I don't really care about it I just feel like if I'm going out whether it's in the day or you know in the night I just really layer this particular one with a different fragrance so that to make it a little better lasting and as for the last thing I would say it easily lasts for like more than three four hours rest it depends upon your own body chemistry and yeah that's that about this particular fragrance and probably if you love strong fragrances then I think this is the one that you should try you would not be disappointed I have used quite a lot of this one the one that I am going to be showing is again very very strong so this is you're the one so the packaging of this one is also very very pretty so it's like the red packaging which is very unusual and the atomizer in here is also red which is again very unusual um, most of the bath and body works mist do have the atomizer which is gold in color for the notes it has uh, white winter birds soft rose and a drop of strawberry nectar so overall all in all this is a very feminine fragrance which has a hint of rose it has the strawberry in the background which is not so so prominent but at the same time it's as i said it's very feminine but it has a little bit of like perfumey scents which is not too loud at the same time little bit like a lady like maybe like if it's a you know if you're a lady you would really love and enjoy this but it's not so mature at the same time plus it's though it is a rose based fragrance but it's not a generic rose so if you are trying to get your hands on this one assuming it's a rose fragrance and you are really particular about the kind of roses that you use then probably you will be disappointed because it's not just a simple plain basic rose fragrance it has a lot a lot more going on at the background and specifically the strawberry note which you know adds that little bit of i don't know the grown up quality to this scent which i believe it is really strong in terms of the intensity so the point to note over here is it is very strong in terms of the intensity that it has and all throughout the journey of the fragrance it does not really tame down like the other ones so for example i apply this one at 1 pm and by the time 
there is you know an hour passes by it just tames down a little bit but for this one the intensity remains the same this is why i consider this to be very very strong and more so like a perfume and it would easily easily last you for like three four hours and apart from that if you apply it on skin it would last even longer for me i tested it on my clothes and that's where it lasted for three four hours and intensity was very very strong so that's that and uh, i think the fragrance aspect is also really really beautiful so if you want to try something from bath and body works which is more like a perfume and it would make you feel again a little bit feminine with a boldness and you love roses but you don't mind if the rose is being tapered a little bit then i think this is the one that you can go for it's a really good scent it's a really appealing scent but i don't think so that a lot of um it's not unisex this is what i want to say so it's basically leaning more towards the feminine side of things but of course a little bit like mature and bold not so mature but you know you get the vibe right if you are maybe in your 30s and you want to try bath and body work you're really intrigued by the mist but you are not sure whether you'd like it or not so probably this is the one that you should try in my opinion the next one is again one of my favorites and this was the first you know fragrance which i showed on my channel so this is cactus blossom and i don't have any words to describe this one actually this is something which got all of the other ones so this was the one which i bought and i was so impressed with the lasting i was so impressed with the quality of the scent that i was like why was i sleeping on the bath and body works mist because I'm trying this one i actually happened to try uh, winter candy apple and warm vanilla sugar and both of them has have trashy lasting so i was like a little taken aback and then i saw in someone else's video about this particular one an indian youtuber and i was like very excited with this whole packaging and the idea of a new packaging being launched which is completely different from that of the other bath and body works mist so i was like let me just give it a try i was very confused between champagne toast and this one but then i just went ahead and got this one and this is the reason why i just started to Deep and deep into the body works, I, I just went greedy. I was like, to be very honest, that I got such a great gem fragrance and I should try more. Maybe I could get a better one than this one. And at one point, I was so obsessed with this one that I was like, I need to create a backup. It smells sweet. It has that coconut in the background. And together, it just smells so feminine, so girly, like feminine. And bold and mature is this one, but feminine and girly and soft is this one. So this is more like my type of a fragrance. I don't really use uh, this one because I am really particular about my rose fragrances. So I do like it, but I don't reach out for this really, really often because I think it's too strong for me sometimes. The Cactus Blossom one is really beautiful to me. It's really soft and girly, as I just mentioned, and it... it's actually me in a bottle to be very honest and apart from that just one little point if you have smell victoria secrets pure seduction which is really a cult favorite for a lot of people a lot of people do like it a lot of men do specifically like it because it's very leaning towards the sweet side and as per the research men tend to enjoy sweet fragrances on women usually they tend to compliment if a woman smells sweet over any other family of fragrances so it smells alike to the victoria secrets pure seduction i have that one too and i did compare this one with the victoria secret one in my video so that's that and i think it smells really delicious and if sweet girly a little all of that things really excite you then i think this is the one that you should go for and it would not disappoint you right so now let's just move on from all of these which i really really love to something which is like i don't know i am confused in regards to my relationship with this so this one is about body works dahlia so just look at the packaging it's really very pretty and this is probably the only fragrance which i was so confused whether i should get it or not but then i got it on good discount a lot of people say that it smells like carolina herrera good girl which again deep garden is also duped for carolina herrera good girl so i'll just compare all three of them for you very quickly so i think all of them three have the same soul 
but what is the difference is only the fact that this one is on the musky side the deep garden from zara is on the fresh side and carolina herrera good girl is a little bit on the chocolatey side okay so that's the only difference that i find apart from that from the bottle i really like and enjoy this one because it is like you know a little bit floral but there is a musk in the background which i really really enjoy because it's a different scent but at the same and more so like a perfume also and the notes on this one mentions uh, velvet dahlia petals crisp pure praline musk and whipped tonka beans which are really interesting notes um, but if you're expecting to smell a particular note in here then that's not going to happen so if for example you really like a pear note which is really common for a lot of fragrances then you are not going to get it straight up you're not going to actually get any note straight up that is why i say it smells like a perfume from the bottle i really like it but i don't really enjoy it that much on myself because my preference is more towards like that of a sweet scent but of course if you are a guy watching this and you're looking for something unisex probably which you could get you could use and this is the one that you could go for straight up because there is no reason why you cannot wear this one let's just move to the final three mists in the range which are from the bake shop collection so it would be a surprise to a lot of you because probably you would have not expected the bake shop collection to be here but the bake shop collection is actually performing really really probably the best in terms of the lasting like it sticks on the clothes for like even 7 8 hours and i'm not even kidding so i'll just let you know about uh, which fragrance in particular i'm talking about so for now i'm going to be showing you the three mists from the bake shop collection i have the strawberry pound cake the chocolate covered cherry and raspberry joy i'm donut so first let's just talk about my number one favorite which is the strawberry pound cake so if you are someone who really gets fascinated with the idea of smelling like you know a cake a bakery shop etc you know specifically that pastry cake vibe then this is something that you cannot be sleeping on this is such a good fragrance so it isn't just strawberry i don't know what and how do they do it but it's just not strawberry it's like the cakey strawberry like exactly if you would imagine to smell like that vanilla and strawberry cake and overall the general you know fragrance that goes around revolves around in a bakery shop and i think this is the one that you would really enjoy i do get it that for some people this idea is really absurd because you might not feel comfortable in smelling like a pastry but for me i would say not for me just but in general i would say this has that pastry vibe but if you're applying it on your body people would not be commenting you that hey you smell like a pastry so don't be afraid in that sense if this scent really calls in for you then do it then do buy it do not be worried about the fact that people would be commenting or mocking you around the fact that you're smelling like a walking pastry because that's not going to happen uh, be rest assured about it so this one says fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream so probably the cakey effect is coming from the whipped cream note which is really beautiful i really cannot understand how did they do it but this is one of a kind and i have never ever smelled this kind of a fragrance in my life um it's not so strong in terms of intensity but this is long lasting right so probably if you would spray it if you would apply it on your clothes it might even last for like 7 8 hours straight and i did experiment with this one in particular and i did really realize that it does last that long in it and probably it would last more during winters so thank me later so this is the one that you could go for of course not so like not a teenage one but not so mature vibe either so it just lies in between but of course you do you you could wear any fragrance whatever you like and i think this would be a great bedtime scent also like your man would be falling on his knees if you smell like this because it's actually very very delicious anyway let's just talk about uh, something from the same family again which is the raspberry jam donut which again is a beautiful fragrance but one thing one little thing that i want to mention before i start you know appreciating this fragrance is that initially when you apply it so like for the first one or two minutes when you will apply it you will feel like 
you get in that donut smell right the dough smell but to me like of course we live in india and we don't happen to smell or we don't know how the dough smells like the donut dough smells like so to me the best way to put it is i really did an analysis of how i feel about this fragrance initially so in the first one or two minute max it smells like fermented parleyji biscuit just imagine parleyji biscuit smells delicious right if you have ever smelled it because i usually smell everything so i know how parleyji smells like so it smells like fermented parleyji biscuit initially for the first first one minute but then after that it just quickly settles down very quickly and then that's when you get the beautiful scent which is the raspberry jam donut so you get the jam you get the raspberry and they are really mixed together very well um it's not so complex of a scent that would make it a mature scent so that's the reason why i really like it because it's not complex okay it's like very fun to wear and happy and all of that thing and as of for the notes it has wild raspberry jam powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut so powdered sugar wow so it is sweet as i mentioned it has that jammy effect to it not just the donut effect is coming in the initial sense but then it just goes away which is a very good thing because if that uh, fermented parleyji thing just existed for long then probably i would have hated this fragrance to be very honest but thankfully it just goes after a minute or so so i just really like it and that's that really beautiful fragrance and obviously just uh, <laughs> the way i said with strawberry pound cake also i would say the same with it so the last one is something which is chocolate covered cherry so it really looks very interesting and this was something which a lot of people do not like but that was the reason why i thought that i should get it because i wanted to see for myself like in what category i do fall whether i do love it or do i hate it like other people because it's like 50 50 of the thing so for me I neither hate it nor do I love it. So it's like it's a very confusing fragrance for me personally. So sometimes I smell a very beautiful chocolate note, but not just a plain simple chocolate, but a chocolate which has a little bit of liquor, you know, liquor note in the background. That is what I smell. Sometimes I smell a very bad cherry note which to me smells like a cough syrup which I hate. sometimes i smell chocolate along with cherry which is the best combination and that gives justice to the fragrance as well but that is something which is very rare most of the times i get the cherry only the cherry or sometimes i get the chocolate along with the liquor note and etc and every time i smell it i only get out of these three notes i get a note and i that is why i'm very very confused about this particular fragrance i don't know this is the one which could be a unisex fragrance so if you're a guy and you want to try something different probably a little bit of that chocolatey note in there then obviously you would enjoy it but do mind you cherry is a very like mm -hmm sort of a note so either you like cherry or you don't so if you don't really like cherry then probably you would hate it because the cherry note is really really strong in this fragrance but if you are like neutral about cherry or maybe you love cherry then probably the odds are that you might enjoy this one as well so that's that let me just quickly redo the notes anyway i have described the fragrance pretty well so you don't really need to know the notes but just in case if you do it has the rich milk chocolate red cherries and sweet liqueur all of that i do get you know in a permutation and combination at different times with different things so that's that with that i am done with all of the mists from bath and body works which are probably very 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 uh, good in terms of lasting you know it's not a trashy lasting at all so probably if you do not really want to try bath and body works because of the fact that they do not last then i think you are safe if you buy any of these right and if i have to recommend something personally which i think you should get is the into the night which is my favorite cactus blossom if you want a second recommendation because it it just smells like me it's isha in a bottle By the way my name is Isha. By the way my name is Isha. Okay. And if I had to recommend a third one then I think it's up to you. You can get any of these uh if you want. Like for the third pick 
you can get any of these okay but for me the top two has to be into the night and cactus blossom with that i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, last but not the least let's just go forward towards the quote of the day For today, the quote of the day is not something from my diary, but actually it's from a book which I am reading currently, which says Good Vibes, Good Life by Wex King. So it's a really good book if you're interested in sort of that healing concept or the fact where you don't really want to really want to care about other people's opinion and all of that then i think this is a good book otherwise also it's a really good and easy read in my opinion so i'm just going to be reading a quote for you from this book today so it says before you try to fix someone else's vibe make sure you're not killing your own in the process and that's so very important so protect your own energy first right and it has a beautiful diagram to explain this one as well i'd just like to show you in here this is what it tries to say and i hope you got the context and wish you have a great day and if you did really like the video then do not forget to hit the like subscribe and share if you think somebody would enjoy this video i shall see you in my next video Bye bye